Ooh, it looks like it's going to rain. It feels like it's going to rain. The forecast says it's going to rain. Ah, no rain. We don't need rain. Not on a Saturday. Anyway, day two. Two of um, the pillar job. Um, well, on a little section of wall. But something has changed slightly. The client is thinking about ripping down the existing walls either side. And then, uh, yeah, rebuilding them in the same sort of style. Um, so I am just going to halt with uh, connecting the pillars into the walls basically and just solely concentrate on the pillars uh, because if that does happen I haven't got to disrupt any of the work I've done if you know what I mean so uh, yeah it's going to cut shut on the pillars I'm going to get the last pallet of stone over because I just want the pillars to look as tight and neat and square as possible um, it is quite hard with this stone because by the time you beat off all the old uh, cement mortar it, there isn't much left and it's quite brittle stones so you've got to be really careful on how you dress it you can't just sort of you know bash it or you know it's just got really just take your time with a scutch and just mm. but yeah so um we'll get there but like, i'm just gonna go for that nice easy method of sort of getting my corners of the pillar all the same height and then uh running the thinner stone throughout it basically because if you sort of build like that all the time you're not really getting lovely lines going through the pillar and it just sort of makes it look a bit messier if you know what i mean whereas if i try and get all the corners level and then any gaps in the middle i can just you know put the stones like so i think that's the best method with uh this sort of stone but yeah like i say um a bit of welding's happened which we're going to take a look at and uh yeah just like nice easy saturday just cracking on with the pillars um and just yeah Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. Here we go, baby. So there you go. Look, lovely. Weldingness. That is beautiful. I don't know anything about welding, but that just looks beautiful. Got the pins on. It's going to be a double gate because uh, you've got a set on there and a set on this little baby. So, yeah, like I just said, I'm going to concentrate on the pillars. Um, just bosh up a uh, chunk on each. Uh, I'm not going to continue with the connection because this wall... Uh, might be coming down so i'll sort of stop about there but as you can see i'm a bit higher there it probably takes me up a good sort of third of that pillar so uh yeah so that is basically it today just concentrate on the pillars um, a little chunk's been welded on here as you can see uh because they want the uh pillars the same height but this ground is sloping downhill um so that will just even that out a bit more and just give a bit of strength and uh makes it easier for me as well but uh yeah lovely job no i'm happy with that um I have said about um, getting a bit of ginger sand as well uh, because the stone, I'm not going to achieve tight, tight joints of this stone. Um, so just as you can see on this, like that's, that's, that's got ginger sand in it. With this stone as well, as you can see by the colour of it, free ginger, free grit. And then, because uh, on this one we're using cement because that's what they want to use. It will just really take the greyness out, if you know what I mean. And you will end up basically, especially this stone, the same colour. Um, just when you look at it, because you can see here from the rain last week, obviously that will come off, but you imagine that, you wouldn't even see that ginger. So uh, anyway, let's crack on with today. And uh, jobs are good, lovely jobbing. Let's get pillar, pillar willing, pillar cracking. Yeah, yeah.
better colour. Twenty-two, twenty-two, forty-four, fifteen. Fifty. Yeah, fifty-nine. Quick mark. Absolute perfect stone, didn't it? Half of it is cement. Cement! There you are.
stop it. Pick up of the day, isn't it? Pick up of the day. Oh, that's where the tape's going to go. Get one more use out of you, you little baby. Right, that's flat, so I can get a big one on there now to really secure that pin. Beauty. It's okay. Because two for the price one, two for the price of one. I said you buy one. You get one free. Oh, look at that. Stop it. That is beautiful. Double-handed smackaroonie. Ooh, is that chocolate spread? and conquer.
lovely jubbly. Righty, that is me done for today. Chunk done, nearing about halfway. So I uh, got this one up as well. Like I say, it's just, it's a shame this wall's not down and ready really, because I like to do pillars gradually, if you know what I mean, because uh, that one was starting to move, where I've used quite a big stone light. So, uh, but now I think overall, it's starting to look good now it's coming up. Starting to look all right. Righty, I'm gonna carry on brushing down and uh, yeah. Get tidied up, wash mixer out, and uh, have a good old sweep up. Lovely, jubbly, another day done. Love it. And look, it has just started raining. Spot on. Yeah, it's just uh, a bit fiddly. Um, it'll be quite good, like I say, when, uh, you know, the wall does get taken down, because I'm pretty sure that is going to happen. But it's quite a big job, because that is only probably what you can see. It goes on the other side as well all the way down the lane like so that's only about a quarter it's about a quarter from what you can actually see all the way up the garden like the garden side wall um so it's about yeah a quarter, quarter of the length of the whole thing so it's quite a big job so uh i reckon uh we're gonna rally in the troops um and uh yeah let's say try and get a few of us on it like and uh we bash that out like so uh yeah it's just a uh, one of the days, I'm tired, tired. Been a hard week, been uh, on the cobbling job. And uh, that's just hard graft, that. Hard graft, it's, uh, like I say, on your hands and knees, I'm not used to that anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just proper shape of big stuff. It's a shame, really, I can't video it, because it would have been an absolute treat. Because um, it is an absolute beautiful job. Beautiful, but uh, day two done. Um, hopefully, I think on the next weekend, I'm not uh, on it. So, um, and then the weekend after, I think I'm booked, yeah, I've booked in Saturday, Sunday. So hopefully get a boff, boff, won't be far off the top of the pillars and hopefully the rest of the wall will be down. So I can actually sort of not rush the pillars because like, like I said earlier, it's like sort of moving a little bit. So um, I don't want it to move too much. So it'd be good to get on with another bit of wall basically. But anyway, job done, not job done, day done and uh, yeah get on home and uh lovely job i lie actually i need to go do some shrimming uh yeah i promised someone i'd go do some shrimming so i'm gonna go do some shrimming now and then uh then i'm gonna go home and actually yeah try and rest my knees my knees are hurting as you can see i've invested in some knee pads the little knee pad uh isn't it's just it's, i've had it for about five years now and it's just i'm basically just kneeling on the floor it's it's totally molding my kneecap so invested in some knee pads uh ones that i've got double straps on because i hate the ones that i've got a single strap knee pad it just gets in the crease of your leg and it just ugh, really it's uh quite annoying so these ones are actually got two sections if you know what i mean so they hold up on your knee it's nice comfy so far but like i said i've only had them a week and uh i'm actually doing all right with them but uh, anyway yeah see you next time take care and i'll uh, <laughs> and i'll see you in a bit